right now, okay? The supposed independence of the central bank is the decisive control mechanism uh, for private financial interests, which historically in Europe has been installed as an authoritative instrument against an economic policy of sovereign governments oriented towards the general affair. And of course, the European banking is a remnant of a feudal society in which private interests as typified by the ancient Venetian cartels or by the Lombard League, which went down in the Dark Ages in the 14th century. And this is what we have today, again, two systems, the monetary system, which controls Europe, and the national credit system, which you have in the United States, and something which exclusively and expressly was excluded from the European yes. negotiations. And we've seen States. that with uh, Nigel Farage was, was very eloquently pointed out uh, how amazing it was that Goldman Sachs bankers could be used to replace duly elected uh, leaders in both Greece and Italy, and people in those countries are waking up to that as well. Let's take another question from Mike in Louisiana. Mike? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Knight. Uh, David, I have a question for you and then Mr. Estelon. The first one is kind of lighthearted, but uh, I'm a uh, uh, artist activist, and I have designed a Clive and Bundy for President t-shirt that I would love to gift you. So, uh, <laughs> I would like that. You know, when I spoke to him personally, he reminded me a great deal of Ron Paul, and uh, he had a Ron Paul support, uh, a Ron Paul sign there in his yard. Uh, I, he reminded me very much of Ron Paul. So <laughs> I would vote for him over uh, anybody that's been offered to us by the traditional parties over the last few years. Of course, you know, they oppose Ron Paul and, and uh, people like Clive and Bundy. Go ahead. What, what's your question how, for Daniel Esselin? How, how, uh, how could I get that shirt to you, and how can I be assured you'd receive it? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, hang on after the call and we'll try to get uh, uh, the, the fellows here on the board to uh, give you that information. I don't want to give that out over the air, but um, or actually you could send it to the P.O. box that's at our website to my attention and it get to me. That'd be fine. I'm sure that would. All right. I'd yeah. also like to get that other information just to make sure I'd like confirmation on that. Now, if I could ask Mr. Eshelon a question, please. Sure, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Eshelon, I, I read your book, it's excellent, uh, some years ago, and I congratulate you on your work and your tenacity and exposing the Bilderbergs. I'd like to ask, is it? do you think it'll ever get to a point because of the exposure due to uh, you and Mr. and uh, the late Mr. Jim Tucker, uh, uh, do you think it'll get to the point where the Bilderberg will stop meeting or maybe find some other clandestine way to go ahead and go about their devious methods i think uh, I, I think it's important to put bilderberg in perspective organization organizations such as bilderberg trilateral commission council for relations uh penai circle these are not the seats of power they're the conveyor belts the real decision making process is always and has always been you know taken and done at much higher levels the thing is is that you know when my book came out suddenly people discovered bilderberg because before that we kind of knew that you know someone was doing something to someone. You know it was a, a you know coup d'état. Someone was you know taken out or killed, and somebody else was put in their place. You know you had price machinations and shenanigans going on behind the scenes, but we didn't know really who was doing it or how it was done. And then when my book came out, suddenly these they who were nameless and faceless had a name and a face, and we knew what they were doing and we knew their deeds, and we saw the documents and the photographs, and it was easy to say, aha, these are the bad guys. But they're not the bad guys in a sense that one understands a bad guy from a Hollywood film. Uh, again, the real decision making is done at a much higher level than Bilderberg. Bilderberg is mid-level executives. Yes, there are some very powerful people because they're powerful because they're popular. Uh, someone like a David Rockefeller, for example, you know, you may say that he's very, very powerful. He's not. The fact that there's a hundred million pages with Rockefeller's name on Google doesn't make him powerful. It makes him popular. Yes, he is wealthy, you know, when you compare it to us. But no, he's not wealthy or powerful when you compare it to the people who run the world from behind the scenes, because the real people who move the world from behind the scenes, they're invisible. We don't even know their names. That's how powerful they are. So there's a difference between power and popularity. Rockefeller is powerful, but he is visible. The real power is invisible. And I can give you one name, Frescobaldis, which is the, the root of all the royal families in Europe. Now, if you actually go and Google their name, you may get a, a couple of pages and they're talking about their wine exports. And in Rome, there's a little tiny little plaza 
Gaza, you know, that has their name. But these are some of the most powerful people in the history of mankind, and nobody knows their name or the fact that they even exist because they don't appear in the newspapers. They don't have, you know, community centers. They don't have buildings named after them. They are invisible, but they're omnipotent when you compare it to the people that we're talking about who attend Bilderberg conferences. Thank you very much. Let's go to uh, get another question from Julio in Illinois. Julio? You have a question for Mr. Esselin. Uh, I do, uh, Mr. Esselin. Uh, buenas noches, uh, I was said, and uh, as a, someone who studied journalism in college, uh, you uh, really uh, influenced me to go from sports reporting to investigative journalism. So, muchas gracias, I was said, senor. Uh, <laughs> my question, uh, I've been uh, looking, uh, I, I listened to you last week, and you mentioned uh, in one of the uh, agenda points that they're going to be discussing is climate change. And I was wondering if you could elaborate, if you can, a bit on what on what they're going to be, uh, what they're planning Plans are with that, and I know you mentioned about the uh, Russia-China uh, natural gas deal that they just made, and I, and I think you had mentioned something that uh, the Bilderbergers were upset, or at least maybe the Europeans were upset at Obama not pushing the, uh, the Keystone Pipeline here. And something uh, tells me that. Hang on, we're we're about out of time. We got to go to a break, but we're going to be back right after the break, and we're going to get uh, Mr. Esselin's comments on climate change at Bilderberg. Stay tuned. What if there was a secret powder that, if consumed, would awaken your inner genius and raise your IQ? What if this powerful secret powder could not only make you smarter, but happier as well? What if the secret powder could lessen withdrawal symptoms from most addictions? Do you think that no such powder exists? Wrong. The secret powder does exist. Want to know its secrets? Then go to thesecretpowder.com and get your free sample today. Go to thesecretpowder.com and change your life forever. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show I'm David Knight I have Daniel Esselin Famous researcher about the Bilderberg Group on the line We've been taking calls from you about uh, What his information is about this year And one of the things that was on the agenda Was climate change And it's deindustrialization 
Before we get his answer about that, I wanted to let you know that this half hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by Survival Shield X2. That's one of our products at InfoWarsLife.com. It's much stronger than the regular Survival Shield through a unique manufacturing process that utilizes sources from deep within the earth. A unique new process uses high purity grade of iodine from more than 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface, below the Fukushima wave. It's extracted from 200 million year old salt solution that yields a powerful and uncontaminated 650 micrograms of iodine per single drop. Tested with radiation readings at the labs to ensure freedom from Fukushima radiation. That's Survival Shield X2 available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, Mr. Estelin, uh, you had a question just before we went about uh, climate change and its involvement in deindustrialization and what the people at Bilderberg were talking about. I, I yeah. haven't uh, gone through all, there's a, the extensive information from my sources, literally passed me all the information which is discussed at the meeting. And I simply, with all the interviews I've been doing worldwide, because I'm getting calls from 30 countries, I have not had a chance to actually read that information. I haven't gotten to it yet. I can tell you what, what they discussed as far as the Ukraine is concerned. We've talked about the uh, their oil and gas deal with the Russians. Uh, I can tell you what they're talking about. The uh, the controversy between Angela Merkel and David Cameron as far as the appointments of the Lisbon Treaty, but very little thus far as far as the uh, climate change. I will know in the next few days. Tell us about David Cameron because we saw Ed Balls there. He had a, a huge amount of paperwork that he was bringing in uh, to the Bilderberg uh, conference. Uh, he got carded and he didn't have his identification with him. As he was searching through his luggage, we could see a massive amount of paperwork. And of course, he's from a uh, different party than David Cameron. Uh, what, what's your information about uh, David Cameron? <laughs> Well, you have, you know, the pardons, and you're talking about, again, European Union, the pardons on either side are pushing Angela Merkel and David Cameron into a fight that neither one of these wants. Now, the nasty mess of the possible appointment of Jean-Claude Juncker, who's the president of Luxembourg, ex-president of Luxembourg, as the next president of the European Commission, it's all, all too predictable. Now, the origin of the whole trouble lies in the 2009 Lisbon Treaty, which basically changed the procedure to select the new president of the, com of the commission. And that replaced the European Constitution, which was scrapped in the name of this Lisbon Treaty, it was just a you know, bait and switch trick to impose this pan-world, pan-European laws and regulations on the community of nations, which have very little to do with one another. And it's very interesting to see over the next little while what's gonna give, because needless to say, in England, the situation is critical. You keep one, they destroyed all the other parties. Their position is very, very strong. They're pro-nation state, pro-social welfare, and we're seeing the same thing going on in France. And the idea, again, that behind this fight, there are two financial systems. You have the monetary right. and you have the nation state credit systems. And depends on who wins. It also depends very much whether we're going to have a referendum in uh, in England over the next uh, couple of years before the next elections in 2015 or not. Let's uh, take a call from Lee in Tennessee. I want to give him, we're almost out of time. Lee, what's your question? for Mr. Esterlin. I was wondering if you all have ever heard the Illuminati are covering up UFOs because they're scared that the light speed travel in the world with terrorists blowing up the planet. I didn't understand the question. I, I didn't either. Could you, could you well, repeat? I was wondering if you all have ever heard that the UFO cover up across the planet has been done to keep light speed travel out of the hands of everybody because they oh, okay. fear... Okay. Like the planet land, because terrorists. Yeah, I, blow don't, I don't know anything about the UFOs. It's not my area of expertise. I know zero. Neither, about it. neither do I. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Esterlin. We're out of time, but hang on. For those of you uh, listening on our webpage uh, or on our internet feed, we're going to go into overdrive. We're going to take some of the callers who were holding earlier, and we're going to try to take their questions. But that's it for Mr. Esterlin. He has to go at this break. Thank you very much for joining us, Daniel Esterlin. listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. 
It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.